do. We're going live, girl. We're going okay, live. Good. <laughs> Hello and welcome to today's episode of Her Version. This podcast is dedicated to sharing stories of struggle to triumph, a platform that allows individuals to tell their truth in order to inspire and uplift others. For those of you that are new to this podcast and like content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow, like, and share. I am your host, Sabrina Victoria. Let's jump right in. Um, I'd love for you to talk about your business. What do you do? Who are you? Yes. So I am a freelance journalist and I, I call it a hustle. I pitch, I pitch work that I do for myself. Right. Um, I also in the past and since the pandemic um, past couple of years, I, um, I've coached people individually and I've also taught small classes. I taught a small class in person in California during the pandemic um, we did it all outside. It was lovely. Yes. Um, yeah, it was great. And there are testimonials on my website about that. Um, but as far, and I do, you know, I write content for websites. I work on a podcast myself where I edit the content of the episodes and kind of streamline it and come up with what we'll do for social and things like that. Um, but my favorite thing to do is help people find their story. I mean, that's, that's the, I mean, I love writing my own pieces. I love writing my own books. Those are things that will always be a part of my life, but something that I've, um, I really found a lot of joy in lately is helping other people, you know, listening to their story. Um, I have a client right now. I won't spoil it because it's, I think it's a little bit secretive, but she has a wonderful story and she was on a popular TV show about seven years ago and um, there's a, there's a reason why it's coming out now, but she, she's been trying to figure out like what the story is, right? Like she knows it's there, but what is, but what is it and how can it be articulated to people? So I actually went to her house. We spent four days together. Um, we walked the beach. I took, we sat at, at the, in the living room. I took notes nonstop and we came up with, what her, you know, we, we mined for the details, you know, we dug really deep. Um, she would tell me a story, maybe just talk for 20 minutes. And I would say, okay, but is this really a story about X or is it like, I think what I hear is it's this other story. And she's like, yes, that's what it's really about. So that is so fun for me. Um, I also like I I have a, a writing group. Um, I don't know if any of them are listening in here. Now I think maybe one is, but um, we meet every Wednesday, and you know we do this in a small way in the writing group where, you know, we share we share pieces each week, whether it's a chapter from a book or a, a piece we'd like to publish in a journal, and you know, often and it's it's not intentional, but what happens is you know someone reads. And I listen and I think that's not where the story really starts. You know, like you're giving a lot of background and a lot of fluff and you're trying to um, ease into the story when what we really want to do is we want to start with some action. That's where stories really begin is like, give us, give us action, give the reader a place where they can see themselves. So I love doing that in any way, you know? Wow. So, yeah. That's awesome. But I'm happy to offer advice. I mean, I would tell anybody who wants to do what I'm doing um, to take Sue's class, honestly, to buy the book or take Sue's class. Um, that's cause, great. Because I think that's a really good first step. Um, absolutely. Where can um, everyone find you? So I have, I'm the only Jamie Stathis, I think, in the world. So if, as long as you spell my name right. Um you can email me at Jamie status at Gmail. You can find me at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, I'm not, as I said, I'm not really on LinkedIn, but I do check it occasionally. Um, and my website is jamiestathis.com. Um, isn't your middle name in your email? 
Jamie. So I have two. I have two emails, but people can okay. just email me. They can email me Jamie Alexis Stathis or Jamie Stathis. Either one is fine. Is that right? You got it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. What is what does success mean to you? Oh my gosh. You know what? I think it just means being happy. I love that. I you know I I, I um, honestly I, I thought about that question a lot. Like, what does it mean? And I think it means like being happy and following your joy and feeling like you're contributing something. Like I, I thought that as a writer, you know, 10 years ago, I thought as a writer, the way I was going to contribute to the world was, was through writing like really personal stories that people could, could learn, could learn from and see themselves in. Right. Those stories are hard to write. I love writing them, but they're hard. Um, now I see that I can really impact the world by writing pieces like the one of mine, um, that you shared yesterday from Wired about accountability, right? Like that's so like, like I'm adding something to the world by writing these pieces and helping yeah. people, um, achieve more, be happier, you know? Um, so that makes me happy. That's all I need. I don't need a lot. That's awesome. As far as, um, you know, our female audience here and anyone who's maybe struggling with honor, entrepreneurship or maybe thinking about getting into entrepreneurship, what would you say, um, what kind of advice would you give them, um, those that are kind of struggling with being their authentic selves and, and kind of figuring out their role and what they're trying to do? I mean, I think it would have to be that Samuel Beckett quote, you know, try again, fail again, feel better. Um, I don't, I think that the, the, the most disempowering belief ever is probably that we're going to get it right the first time. Like, not that we, not that we have to get it wrong, but um, be willing to revise, you know, be willing to revise your vision, be willing to revise um, what it's going to look like. I mean, I'll be honest when I graduated from college, I did not want to be a journalist. I never wanted to be a journalist. Part of that was because I didn't know all about what it meant to be a journalist. Part mm -hmm. of that was because journalism has changed too. Right. But what I meant when I said I didn't want to be a journalist was I didn't want to work for a newspaper writing about like, I don't know, college sport, high school sports or local stuff. I didn't, I wanted to write what I wanted to write, Yeah, you know? And I think that that sounds like so bratty of me to say, I just want to write what I want to write, but, but why not? Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, why should I, write? I, I think that that's how to, how to be more authentic in general. So, you know, sell something you, if you want to be an entrepreneur in a different way, I mean, sell something you really believe in, right. Um, do just do what you want. Because if it's, if it's not like, if you're, you know, if you're selling you know, diet pills and you don't believe in them, then it's probably not going to work. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Word to the, all of those MLMers that we love so much. Uh, but yeah, you have to believe in a product. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. It's totally different. You, and you can feel it too when people are kind of or they're totally gung ho and in a hundred percent, you can feel the vibrations of that. Yes, definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. Well, listen, Jamie, this was amazing. I so appreciate you hanging out with me and chit chatting. Do you have any closing thoughts before I close up here? No, I'm just really excited to, I mean, I've listened to a few of your episodes. I saw who's coming up and I'm excited about that. And um, I'm looking forward to being part of your community online too. Yeah. Getting, getting to know your other guests more. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Well, I love that. Thank you so much. For those of you that are still hanging on, thank you so much for uh, being here and listening and supporting us. We always appreciate it. This community is expanding every single day and it's filled with females who are striving to do better than they did yesterday. For those of you that are new to this podcast and like content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow, like, and share when you can. I hope that you have an amazing day today. If you have a story to share, be sure to reach out to me. This platform is all about inspiring others. Do something.